at the outset of this debate, there is one item which needs to be cleared up. Uh, I want an apology from Congressman Shestak for his television advertisement, which calls me a liar. If the Navy Times is wrong in saying that Congressman Sestak was relieved of duty because of poor uh, uh, control climate, command climate, then the Navy Times owes him an apology. Uh, but uh, what I have said is based upon fact. But when he calls me a liar, that's out of bounds. I want an apology. It's for rebuttal comment. I've served 31 years in the United States military. I loved every moment of it. I served this nation. And when I came back from the Afghanistan war, I was assigned as a three-star admiral to change the Navy. The head admiral at the time, the chief of naval operations said, Joe was courageous in changing the Navy. He put me in the crosshairs, he said and to challenge people in the Rumsfeld administration that didn't want to be challenged. When false assertions, like Arlen Specter just said, are taken against their veteran, they don't say anything about me. They say more about himself. Were you reassigned, demoted, or dismissed for creating a command, poor command Absolutely climate? not. My record is public. And what's also on record is a head admiral at the time, Admiral Clark who said, I had been a patriot's patriot in trying to stand up and change the Navy. The issue that Pennsylvanians, as I go throughout this great Keystone State, most want to focus on is regaining trust in their politicians down in Washington, D.C. They know it's broken. They know that career politicians will do anything in order to keep their job. They'll switch the party from being a Republican because they cannot beat the Republican opponent. And the next day after a poll's taken, they become a Democrat. More than anything, what I find is people want to believe again. They actually want to believe that you're in a position out of core beliefs and conviction, and that you're willing to be there, not just before an election, but after the election is over, for the next six years. For far too long, the Senator Specter, with due respect, who has done some decent things, advanced a Republican agenda. He voted for those terrible tax cuts and economic policies of George Bush that actually ripped our economy apart. Beckons well, notice that Congressman Sestak doesn't deal with the issue about calling me a liar. I'm not going to let that uh, drop. So I was a John Kennedy Democrat, wanted to run for DA. They told me I couldn't. They didn't want an honest tough DA in Philadelphia, and I tried to moderate the party. Uh, I supported the stimulus package. This country was about to slide into a 1929 depression, and uh, I was willing to take the key role in providing the votes to have the stimulus package. I then provided the 60th vote to cut off debate to have health care reform. Our inspector has reverted to his old Republican tactics, say anything to divert attention from what really matters. Pennsylvanians are hurting, and negative attacks haven't created one job. What about the Santorum thing? Was there a deal or no? There was never a deal. I did not commit my vote. I never would commit my vote under any circumstances. When the Congressman Sestak says the record is public, he knows better than that. He's been asked to authorize the release of his records. An admiral quoted by the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette says that this business about uh, people disagreeing with his policies was not true. That in the Navy, he was tyrannical. Those are the words of the admiral, that he commanded by fear and intimidation. It's not my word, it's not Arlen Specter's statement that he was relieved of duty and he lost a star relieved of duty because of uh, uh, command climate. Now, those are those are the facts, but he can clear it all up. He's been asked by Tom Fitzgerald of the Inquirer to authorize the release of his records. Why don't you do it, Congressman? Well, Inspector, back. on the record, Rick Santorum said that in order to get his endorsement, you agreed to give the next two votes to whomever George Bush nominated Supreme Court. But once again, rove type attacks anonymous sources. Something the Republicans did to John Kerry. Something they did to Max Cleland, the lost and lose in Vietnam. 
But bear in mind, bear in mind, John Bear wants to clear up the business of the Navy record. Well, how about it? Will you release the records? Will you authorize that? I'm still waiting uh, for an answer to uh, a question uh, you posed, uh, Mr. Bear, and the question uh, I posed. Congressman Sestak talks about it being on the record about his uh, reasons for his being relieved of command, but uh, we still haven't had his willingness, his acquiescence to take the step which would clear it up once and for all. Will you authorize those records to be released, Congressman? We're going to move on. I'm, I'm trying to stick to this format that the two of you agreed to. <coughs> You're recently quoted in the, in the Philadelphia Inquirer as calling your own caucus, the House Democratic Caucus, quote, the most undemocratic place there is, close quote, and saying, quote, there are times I can't find out what's going on. So here's the question. Is party to you then of no consequence? Oh, I think John F. Kennedy said it best. Sometimes party asks too much. Yes, I know that I'm not getting the endorsement of the party establishment. An establishment that asked me to sit down. But I honestly believe, just like I did in the Navy, Senator, and just like I'm doing right now, that ultimately it's about democratic principles. He's the junior senator from Pennsylvania. There's only two senators out of 100 who are junior to him. Senator, you're quoted recently in the Allentown Morning Call as saying, quote, I probably shouldn't say this, but I've thought from time to time that I might have helped the country more if I'd stayed a Republican. Same question. Is party of no consequence? Well, party is of consequence. The statement was based upon my prospective ability to get more Republicans to support uh, health care legislation. I was able to persuade a couple of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle to support the stimulus package. But uh, when uh, I found irreconcilable differences after casting the stimulus vote, uh, I returned to the party of my roots. When Congressman Sestak uh, condemns uh, the Democrats for inviting me to be their candidate, he's condemning President Obama. Now, this is not a decision made by some uh, faceless and nameless caucus. This is the President of the United States. People urged Congressman Sestak not to run for the Senate, to keep the seat in the House of Representatives. Now that is at risk for the Democrats. They weaken the majority in the House. It also puts at risk the seat in the Pennsylvania House, where that candidate is running. So uh, this man has done a great disservice to the Democratic Party, which got him elected in 2006 and 2008. And, and Senator, that's your time. Uh, Congressman, a 90-second rebuttal. Imagine if someone had said that to candidate Barack Obama two years in the Senate, when he elected against the wishes of the party to run for President of the United States, and thank goodness he did. And then, just before he voted for the economic stimulus bill, he pulled out $100 billion from that bill. And 900,000 Americans don't have a job today because of that $100 billion. I'm going to try to help out the Democratic primary voter in Pennsylvania by asking you both this, and Senator, the question goes to you first. On issues that traditionally are important to Democratic primary voters, such as jobs, health care, education, environment, abortion rights, etc., is there any real difference between the two of you? Well, uh, yes, there is, uh, John. Uh, there's a great deal of difference. It's uh, what I have done and am doing. Uh, uh, Congressman, the same question. On basic issues important to the Democratic primary voter, any real difference between the two of you? The major difference is this. I am a Democrat, out of core beliefs and conviction. The difference is, is this. I did serve in the United States Navy for 30 years, very honorable service. He served down in Washington, D.C. for 30 years advancing the Republican agenda. If we want to change Washington, we have to change career politicians, or we're not and going to And Congressman, uh, that is your time. Well, uh, I ask for your vote on primary election day based upon what I have done, what I am doing, and what I can do in the future. I want to thank our Spector for his service, but it is time for a change. And let me remind you that uh, there is an election on May the 18th, the Democratic primary. If you are a Democrat, get out there and vote.